All right, Alex, thanks so much. I'm joined now by Krista Stigall from 1210 WPHT. As we have been doing, we're getting thoughts and musings from both sides of the aisle. And, Chris, thanks for being with us here Hi again. again. Yeah. Good to see you. you we were just hearing about thir a third-party candidate, and we're hearing more and more about that, and a lot of Bernie supporters talking about perhaps supporting a third-party candidate. Maybe Republicans? What do you think? How, how will the third-party candidates factor into this race? This is the most fascinating part of this year. The never Trump, mm -hmm. the never Hillary. Mm -hmm. Where do they go? Do they sit out? Do they vote third party? How many of them are there? It's incalculable. And, and that is what makes those of us that talk about politics this year, it is so difficult you can't begin to understand. These, as I walked in today, Jessica, to the convention hall, I heard some people say, this will be more crowded tonight than tomorrow. Mm -hmm. The Bernie folks may want to come see the president tonight. They won't be here tomorrow for Mrs. Clinton. So you're saying that's really an X factor of sorts in, in all of this. And who, the other thing of that, uh, the other part of that is, who are they going to be pulling votes from? Is it Trump <laughs> or is it is it Clinton? Traditional thinking always used to be that if you voted third party, you were throwing your vote away for whomever you support. If you vote third party, you may as well just forget it and hand it to the other guy or gal. Uh, this year, who knows? Yeah. I mean, it's a jump ball, really. Well, more to come on that. <laughs> you bet. Chris DeGaulle, thanks so much for being with us. Always great to see you.